For 20 years, Ron Paul was the lone strong voice for limited government and individual liberty in Congress. Uh, bad news about that is that he's retiring next year in 2013, um, at the end of this long career. Uh, but the good news is that here in Texas, we've really stepped up to the plate, and we have three candidates who already made it through to the runoff election, which massively increases their chances of getting elected, who hold the same values that Ron Paul does, um, and I think have a real chance of being elected to Congress. That means that we might put three Ron Pauls from Texas in Congress to replace the one we're losing. The candidates I'm talking about are Steve Stockman, Jessica Puente Bradshaw, and Wes Riddle. Um, they represent three different parts of the state, three different constituencies, but they all hold the same basic values of limited constitutional government, protecting individual liberties, keeping government out of our pockets and out of our, off of our backs, uh, limiting what government can do, uh, to only those powers the government absolutely has to have, and reserving the rest for us as individuals. Um, these three candidates, Bradshaw, Stockman, uh, and Riddle, um, are in great position to win their races. And because it's Texas, if they win their primary races, um, where they're up against establishment uh, favorites, uh, but have good chances of winning, then their chances are very good in the general election because the Democrats are generally pretty weak uh, here in Texas. I'd really like everybody out there who hears this to try to support those candidates. Either go to their websites, look them up, um, and donate money if you can. Or the Republican Liberty Caucus PAC, the RLC USA PAC, um, is doing a fundraiser over this weekend for those candidates. Um, you can go to rlcpac.org, uh, donate there. And the money we raise over this weekend is going to be given to those candidates so they can get a last push, a big influx of cash uh, in the last two weeks of the election so that when it comes to the uh, runoff election on the 31st of uh, July, uh, they'll be the ones who come out ahead, um, and we'll all be winners as a result uh, with more and better representation from Texas in Congress to preserve and maintain and continue the tradition that Ron Paul established. Thanks a lot.